Hey folks! Welcome to Frame by Frame. Hello. <laughs> Is that your start? Yeah, that's that's good. That was not bad. It was alright, wasn't it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to do a soundbite of just every single opening. <laughs> of the, the whole 49 openings, just to yeah. see which ones. Yeah, then you can vote which one's the best. Yeah, three people. Of the worst. <laughs> you talking to me? Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? Like, who the hell are you talking? You talking to me? No funny how. I'm Peter Vink. We all go a little mad sometimes. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So how are you, Andy? I'm, um, yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not not bad. bad. I'm okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, got, got a bit hurry last week after the, um, the, the Spice Girls episode. I had to go into hiding. Yeah, I'm glad you're back. I, I thought, we, we thought the worst. Of course, I, you know... I imagine that you'd been kidnapped again, but you weren't. No, no, I was just hiding, hiding. And, um, in this Disney convention. Yeah, we're at the Disney convention that exists. Yeah. <laughs> um, because we got uh, we have two two little ones running around. That's how popular Disney is. <laughs> <laughs> this convention is um, me and Stephen and two children. <laughs> and the film Frozen in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get better from here, though, isn't it? You know, it's going to catch on. This is, there's just a small, Trying to help small company at the minute. Yeah, you know? yeah. But what do you know? What they don't own, however, because it looks like they own everything. The only thing that they they're not they haven't got any ownership over is Fox. Yeah. And uh, yet, <laughs> yet, but Fox they produced the X Files. Was that a segue? That was quite, that's pretty pretty good, mate. Well, sneaky. Well, they used to. I'm not sure if they still do. Um, yeah, they but do. yeah, <laughs> X Files has just wrapped up on its tenth season. Yes, after a long gap of how many years? Fif uh, Thirteen years? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, wasn't. Yeah, something like that. It feels like a long time. Yeah, yeah, it does. It feels like everybody looks a, a little bit older. Yeah, so season we had, ten. We had a film in between. Yes, with, with, with Billy Connolly. With Billy Connolly, which that was, was um, just it was an odd, <laughs> odd thing. Yeah, it kind of. It didn't feel like a, that. Didn't feel like a film. I don't know if we've actually talked about the films. We've only talked about the the, the standalones. We have talked about some of the standalone episodes, yeah. not the not the films. Yeah, but, not the uh, mythology. I, I enjoyed but... the first film, Fight or Fight the Future. I did. I call. I I actually always thought it was called Fight or Flight. No, it's Fight the Future. But I thought Fight or Flight was more apt. I kind of felt like that was the the. the his human nature that was involved in that yeah. story. But uh, I Want to Believe was the, the second story. Of course, I couldn't think of titles. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's like every single X-File episode has Latin or, or some sort of weird connection of words. Unless it's a film. Unless it's a film, because then the, the brains get smaller and uh, the money gets bigger. Yeah. So here we are, though, season 10. And um, this was, it was a big surprise that they came back, wasn't it? It was, and then... As we um, proven in our X Files episode, I'm really into the X Files, so it was very exciting. Very exciting, yeah. And f for the most part, I don't think I was let down. I think I, um, I enjoyed it. It was an interesting mix. Are you right, Aspen? How are you doing? You all right? Aspen is waving to us. He's enjoying the convention. Um, it's just six episodes for a season, and then the the the, the thing about six episodes for a season is that. He, a lot of high expectations. Yes, absolutely. And not only that, there's a must. There's a lot to cram in. A lot, yes, exactly. Yeah, which really, in the first episode and the sixth episode, really, really tell. You know, they struggled. They had to fill it up. Um, and I think a lot of that was catch-up as well. Yeah. It wasn't just an episode. It was, there's a whole audience out there that may never have seen X-Files before. Mm. And that's what they were trying to do. That's, they did that with both the the first and the sixth yeah. episode yeah. from two different perspectives. Um, but 
it, it's kind of odd because for six episodes, you you kind of thought that you they'd be focusing on a kind of an arc story all the way through. Yeah, thread. but the, that's what that's what I thought. Yeah, but it didn't at all. The first and six were the, ending, uh, the like yeah. mythology, and then the middle four were just standalone episodes. And uh, how did that go? Let, let, should we go through them one by one? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So the first one was My Struggle. It'll probably start on a Friday. What well, will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Driven by a well-oiled, well-armed, and multinational group of elites using alien technology that government's been hiding for 70 years. Like yourself, I'm a true believer. What I need is your expertise. You said if I ever put the pieces together that you would confirm. And have you? I've seen something. You're nearly there. You're close. I can't do this alone. Yeah. I'm here. They police us and spy on us. Tell us that makes us safer. We've never been in more danger. And do something about it, Mulder. seen this before you're on fire believing that you're on to some truth that you can save the world this is my life this is everything i believe in you are on dangerous ground here i know what i'm doing have a small problem. And that was pretty much the reintroducing the, um, the Fox Mulder and Dana Scully characters back together again. Even though they, they, they've been still in touch. They have, it's not as if he's been recluse like um, in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to be into hiding. It should have been, I want to be alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, I, I want to walk in snow. <laughs> um, so so what did you think of that episode for, as, as an opener? Um, I thought it was good. I thought it sort of reintroduced... Again, there was so much to cram in. Trying to reintroduce characters and trying to reintroduce this, this long storyline and stuff. So it struggled a little bit, but yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought it was just good to see them on the screen together. Yeah, I mean they 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 did that on uh, season two when they closed the X Files and they had Fox Mulder delivering that spiel at the beginning about what happened in the last season. It was kind of like a recap, but with this one they had to cram in so much, mm. and and then all of a sudden because some of us drifted off in the seasons. Um, I I drifted off around about season four or five. Right. Um, I pretty much stuck with it all the way through. Yeah. To nine. Uh, until until they had a baby together, and that was mm. the, that was kind of the big revelation to me because I had no idea <laughs> that they had a baby. I got a baby here, by the way, who hasn't been put uh, given away for adoption and put into hiding because of alien genes or any you know, to to keep him safe. He's actually here pulling on my cord today. Yeah, well, St- Stephen doesn't <laughs> doesn't really care because if you really cared for the alien genes that are in Aspen, you you would have had him adopted, but. Yeah, well, you just don't care. You're just risking it. I'm risking it. I mean, he has <laughs> webbed toes. I mean, and, yeah. <laughs> when he plays with toys, they sort of just float in the air around his head. Yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I kind of thought it would just pass. You know, one of those baby things. You know, yeah. but it's not in any book. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, mine's in a Disney-induced coma. <laughs> Okay, so Chris Carter directed the first episode, and of course he directed um, he d- directed several episodes. Actually, he did three out of the six, so he was really involved. Yeah, he obviously didn't want to let it go too far away. Maybe that was the studio concern; they wanted him to kind of just lead the way. I, know, I think it's more him. I think he's saying it's all about him. Yeah, I think because the weaker episodes are the ones he. Exactly. Um, I, well, I think they were more, weak. More, well, the, the mythos and the, uh, the 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 one the episode five, which which we'll get to, um, which, which was way out of right field. 
Um, but yeah, the, for, for the first episode, everybody looks a little bit different yeah. to a certain extent. They still look Apart from young. Skinner. Skinner, Walter Skinner. He looks the same. He looks the same. Just grown a beard, but he looks the same. Yeah, he had. A, he had a. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty much the same. Yeah, I mean the um, the cigarette smoking man really looks old. But then they explain that because they kind of blew him up in the last episode, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. They kind Somehow of, he survived. That. He survived that <laughs> explosion. Um, yeah, so it was uh, a little bit different. Um, to but you know everybody picked on uh, Gillian Anderson as well, saying that she had all that. Botox, Botox done, and uh, yeah, through. it's that. That's that's she's she's done all right. That's natural. She's, yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> she's keeping she's keeping it real, and I don't think people should should sit there analyzing facial structures. Exactly, it's um, ridiculous. But it's nice to see them again, and that's the main that's yeah, the main thing. Yeah. It's great to see them again. And how there was no, they just slipped right back into character. Yeah. it was Mulder and Scully. I was scared. Mm. I was going to start watching Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny. Yeah, play yeah, because you know, you're so used to who they are. Yeah, and you've seen them as yeah. like Hank in Californication. Gillian Anderson's been you know in so many films since. I was thinking, oh, can they slip exactly. right back into it? But they were. It was just Mulder and Scully. Yeah, exactly. And um, I, I can tell, from, especially from Gillian. I mean, David Duchovny seems to just be doing the Fox Mulder thing, but Gillian Anderson seems to have. She's gotten some. <laughs> More skills there. She's a better actress now, yeah. She's changed a bit. She she seems a little bit more like a, a deer in headlights for a lot of X Files episodes where she didn't know what the heck was going on. I guess. Yeah. Um, but uh, for the main for the main point, she's really, yeah, she's really coming with a lot lot of a lot more skill. Yeah, yeah. And she's she's had a lot more experience. So uh, yeah, well, she's done a lot of stage, isn't she? Yeah, and that's probably what it was. I think that's a lot of it. Um, they um they re- they introduced the the the, the topic of um, the son that they had the child that they had and yeah. they gave up, um, which sort of is a thread that keeps coming through, isn't it? Yeah, every so often it the was regret mentioned. Of, um, yeah, but um, Mulder never know. seems that bothered about it. That's that's what I was I was trying to think because I kind of thought they're, they're both neither of them on the same page here. It seems as though maybe he knows where the child is. So he, I, I, there's there's something there that's not quite. Um, reading through it because I think that if if he was on the same page as as, as uh, Scully, then they'd both be pretty. Not I don't want to talk about it. at least at least yeah, be like be I don't want to talk but about like it. No emotion there at all when it comes yeah. from him. Yeah, so um, we did what we had to do, kind of thing. We did that to to protect him. So I kind of get the feeling he knows where he is. You reckon he's keep, he's keeping an eye on him and he's yeah. fine. I think that's 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 one thing that um, I'm predicting um, for that. So then they they have this other woman who's um, who's got the the scar and the um, the, the, the yeah she's been abducted, abducted by aliens yeah and, for years and years and years. There's a resurgence of talking about Samantha, you know this is his mission again. Yeah, they've kind of tried to they've kept it current with today's paranoia very well, haven't they? Yeah, with the idea that the governments are spying on us and. And the openness about it all now, because yeah. um, back in nineteen ninety two, ninety three, people didn't have the internet, um, so not not every, people were just kind of chatting about it through fanzines and magazines and, and, and being a member of these little little clubs that yeah. uh, you know, and, and just word of mouth and, and from books, and that was it. Television series weren't growing that bold. To I mean, like I've said, the X Files was the first one that really tackled the subject of conspiracies head on yeah yeah um but now that it's in in this current medium of where everybody's talking about it nobody's keeping their mouth shut nobody cares about uh, discretion anymore yeah um and like people like edward snowden were brought up and julian assange and stuff like that it was, they were actually brought up in scripts you know they're in they were mentioned yeah 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 they were mentioned but in, in the earlier X Files? No, no. I mean the, these later six. Oh, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's it's very current, very and that's, really draws on the paranoia of yeah, today's yeah. societies and stuff. And I think that uh, that that's that that shows and um, it, it fits in. Mm. We kind of we relate to it. Of yeah, course. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not just they're not just running around with mobile phones. They they're able to track and do all kinds of things like everybody else is able to do now. Yeah, and there's some nice little gags as well where he gets off. Gets out of that car near the beginning, and she's she was like, I forget what she says to him. It's something like, "Oh, you got a you got a lift." And he's like, "Uber." It's like nice little cur- current things, you know. So 
Yeah. Nice little witticisms. Yeah, and I think they need to have that. They need to keep that going. Yeah, um, because one of the part I love so much about the X Files is that banter, that laugh that they have with each other. You know. It's... Yeah, and then because even even when they're in the worst situations, it's like um, uh, to to bring in Star Wars. You know, Poe when he's being held by Kylo Ren and he says, "Okay, so do you talk? Do I talk?" It kind of yeah. reminds me of that kind of banter where Howard, it's Edward Allen, even Allen Poe. Even yeah, yeah, Edgar Allan Poe was was, <laughs> was in the X Files. So yeah, it, it, it's all current. It's all the banter's there. Everybody's in place. Uh, Skinner's still doing the same job, and nobody's and nobody's changing though. They're not. They're all doing the same job. Skinner's still the head yeah, of that department. Still is, is assistant director yeah, of the FBI. Which I'm kind of like. I'm like thinking, why haven't I gotten promoted yet? Why am I still doing this dump? He's happy. He's well, happy. to be assistant director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation is quite a... Yeah, you're right, you're right. It's <laughs> quite a good job, I, really. I, I guess, uh, so for the FBI, he hasn't changed his job. Um, it it just felt rushed by the end of the first episode. Yeah. The X-Files have been reopened again. Yes. It was so rushed. Let's do it. But yeah, and, and do you know what the the weird thing is, is that um, straight away they, they got um, Mulder going over the top with his uh, excitement about this is real this is happening this is a conspiracy this has been happening ever since we you know you and I met Scully and it, and it's and it's almost as if the last few years he's just been chilling out he's like I'm 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 through with conspiracies and then all of a sudden boom well, he's back he's back on he's back into the same feeling that he was But when he there was is violent. a part isn't there in episode 2 uh, the founder's mutation where it's Scully who has to try and convince him yeah, that they did something. the reversal. Yeah, where he's sort of like gone against it. He's like, oh, you know, I've been lied to, I've been let down so much. We've never, well, everything we've done has not stopped anything. So another another rush of emotions yeah, then. Yeah. Um, they're not kind of sitting with things for very long before they change their minds. It's almost like he's gone bipolar. Yeah. Um, but they've always done that. They've always kind of tried to subvert that um, thing where all of a sudden Scully becomes the believer. And of course... Just, just because they have to turn him into a skeptic for one episode, you know. But what are you? I've always used to like. He was, he believed in like the aliens and the ghosts and the poltergeists and the monsters. But then whenever there was a religious episode, he was always a skeptic, and it was Scully who was the believer because she did have yeah. faith. Yeah, she was ready for that for that to, yeah, um, yeah. to take that leap. Yeah, each and every time, and then uh, of course when things start to go a bit awry for her, she starts to uh, question that as well. Mm. Especially when all the family members start dying around her, I think she she, she had more hospital sh- uh, episodes. Oh, honestly. Uh, sitting next to bedside, um, you know, the, the bedside vigil. Well, quite yeah. a lot. And we only had six episodes in this season. And they and in Babylon, one <laughs> they had someone had to die in her family, didn't they? It was that her, his mother, his mother. Or her mother. It was her. Her mother. mother. Yeah. Do you know what? I, I, I was paying attention. I, I swear. Oh yeah, because she she. Literally... She was the one who let us to leave. <laughs> Imagine if it had been his. Yeah, you deal with it, Scully. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. I'm not bothered this. about me, my mother, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is that cold. It's all about aliens. I don't care about humans. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. You're all dead to me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was. Um. So the first episode went, and uh, I I kind of felt okay. I yeah, felt no, good. I did. I felt okay. I felt quite excited. And and I, 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 cause yeah. I was worried. Yeah, are they going to really screw this no up? No idea what was going to come for the next six episodes. Yeah. But as it turns out, they're testing the water with every possible um, type of of X File episode to see which one's the strongest. I got a feeling that this is this is like every single one of these is a pilot. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, the, I will say that I don't know if it was intentional. But the effects are exactly the same as they were in the 90s. I thought the uh, UFO in that first episode, my struggle, and that crash, that was kind of an up-to-date thing. That you think? Pretty, that was, but then again, if you look at the film Monsters, done for $20,000 in someone's apartment... It looks the, a lot better than that. It, it, it's still... Yeah, so... Whether it was the nostalgia, we'll keep it looking nostalgic. I don't know. Because, maybe. you know, when the woman who keeps being abducted, when she's driving in the car, the car does the, the stop, which is a nice little callback to the first episode of The X-Files. Yeah, yeah. And she's trying to start it up, and then the big light boom on her, and then you see the triangular UFO in the sky. That yes. looks the same as it did in the 90s ones. They but, haven't changed, man. They're, they, they're not... You know, these aliens are not going to just suddenly bring out different... Do you not think the tech would have changed in 13 years? No, no, not if it's those aliens. Moving yeah. the times, man. It's Kev. It's Kev the alien. Kevin going yeah. around switching the lights on. What an idiot! It's behind us.
Tell us that makes us safer. We've never been in more danger. I'm Special Agent Dana Scully, and this is Special Agent Fox Mulder. What if our work, the X-Files, everything we've been led to believe in is a lie? Then do something about it. Okay, so we just go on to the next episode then. Yeah, which is the Founder's Mutation. Founder's Mutation, which was... Um, uh, it, this, this was your Ghost in the Machine episode. If you're going to look at each of one of these as a pilot right. that references the type of shows that they had throughout the thread of the seasons from one through nine, this is your Ghost in the Machine episode, mm. I would say. Would you, yeah. would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one where just that hype it sound, isn't it? And it's it's the control thing. It's it's how uh, technology is controlling people to do yeah. things yeah, yeah. that uh, aren't necessarily you know. Which again so, is a kind of current idea. Yeah, it is a current idea, but that's kind of always been a, a kind of a part of the the X Files thing. Yeah, is it about does. control and how people are uh, you know who you don't expect to be out of control, and especially in, in this is the it's, so the story is basically this guy who works for this big. Uh, um, company, I cannot remember what the company is. I think it's um, Disney. This guy works for Disney. We're going we're to change the uh, the, the storylines now. He works for Disney and um, directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, no, the, let's the, not go there. The director of this company is Michael Bay, and they're having a meeting, and uh, and they they have a lot of meetings. They walk around, and uh, they have like big computers mm. where where this guy locks himself into, and then proceeds to. Uh, to steal, he's trying to steal something, right? Yeah, he's trying to get access to something. Yeah, he's trying to get access to something. Yeah, which and, and then he ends up sticking a pencil in his head because the the voices and the screaming, yeah. the, 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 the the noise is getting to him. Yeah, and that's when Mulder and Scully are called in. Yeah, because you know it's 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 spooky. It's, it's spooky, yeah. And yeah. you do you deal with these kind of things, don't you? <laughs> Cue Mulder giving a little grin. Yeah. Um so yeah, um it was a it was a good episode. Of course Mulder gets affected by the uh he does. by the, the uh the, the, the spread of, of technological in in, in uh, Isn't it coming from a guy though? Uh, do you know what I can't remember I need to I, do you know, I really need to re watch that episode. I now. do, I don't remember it at all. Yeah. Well actually in this episode, um there was a lot of Scully like obviously she had that nightmare, didn't she? Where um yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. she, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she remi- she's reminiscing about her son William who remains in hiding, as we know, like, but yeah, th- th- Scully has a fancy yeah. about living with William show- where he's a teenage boy going to school, That's right. and there's an accident and breaking his arm and having alien lizard like black eyes. Right, so they're kind of going back. To That's her fear of what? Fear of what he is. As parents, we made a difficult sacrifice to keep him safe. It was for his own good to put him up for adoption, but I can't help but think of him, Fox. You were a couple before. I'm sorry, what? You and Mr. Mulder. And you have a child together. Mulder and Scully have a child. We were always very vague about how that happened since there was no apparent time or place that child could have been conceived, but it becomes a larger question as we move forward. Do you ever think about William? Yes. But I feel like I've had to put that behind me. There's guilt, definitely, for giving up a child, even if it was for its own safety. The most interesting thing to me is imagining what your life would be if you had raised the child. He'd be 15 years old now. I miss every single year of his life. I hate myself that I didn't have the courage to stand by him. It brought up some incredibly interesting, profound subject matters about family, abandonment, life, unanswered questions. I don't think I've ever quite had that kind of a challenge before. My mysteries. I'll never have an answer. So yeah, but it was a it was a it was a single episode, standalone. Yeah, it's still carrying on the thread of Scully being worried about a baby and has she done the right thing and whatnot. Yeah. And Mulder not really caring. Yeah, and it's um, it was okay, but it, c- certain parts of this episode were missable and forgettable. Yeah. Because we can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's go to the next one, yeah? Which was definitely the best one for me. 
For you, yeah. Um, I loved it. Tell me what this one was about, Mal- um, Mulder. Um, <laughs> Andy? If Mulder and Scully meet the were monster. Right now, we are in deep trouble. We've been given another case, Mulder. It has a monster in it. It's a fresh kill. So we're looking for a man-sized horned lizard with human teeth. Mulder, the internet is not good for you. And that's the, that's just the title. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know what? This is kind of this is up our street because this is kind of our sense of humour. It is. That's my favourite episodes. Actually, my favourite episodes are the ones that were written by Darren Morgan because he wrote a few of the really funny ones. Yeah, it's kind of like Steve Iron Bear, who uh, that's not quite his name, but uh, he did the Deep Space Nine episode whenever he did a, a funny episode of Deep Space Nine. Yeah, which was rare. It, we always knew it was him. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. obviously know that this guy Darren Morgan is is the go to guy. Yeah, because uh, he did fi- uh, Kyle Brooklyn's final repose, which is a, a really really cool. Funny did he do one. the X fi- uh, X Cops as well? Did he do that? He one? might have done. I'm not sure. He yeah. Might have done, but that was a good one. Was, but this is just yeah. this is one of the funny ones, isn't it? Yeah. This is. And upon me was a little bit standoffish about it when I start, when it started to get a bit silly and goofy. But then I thought, hang on, this this is actually twin. Just think of it as Twin Peaks, because um, it's got that kind of an edge as well, that edge of of you know of, of spying and subversiveness yeah, yeah. and, and watching and change and, and all the stuff of like Mulder struggling with technology because he couldn't get the camera to work on his phone. Right. Do yes. you remember? And he's just yes. trying, and it's literally and, constantly and taking pictures, and he himself, can't figure yeah. it out. Yeah, and he keeps blinding himself. Yeah, with that. it's really funny. Really yeah, cool. That, that, that's great. That's great. I, I think Mulder, Mulder, David Duchovny is a really good comedic performer. Yeah. When he's allowed to be, you know what I mean. But and, that's, I think that's more his origin, and that's kind of his personality. When you see him in interviews, he's a, he's a, he, he's always trying to trying to find the the, the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In everything, and and he has some really good stories to tell. He's one of those people who could be a, could have been a stand up comedian. I reckon so. Yeah, uh, if if he uh, didn't find uh, anything in in acting, but uh, of course in Twin Peaks he was in drag. He's not afraid to do things no. that make him look different, or or as in this case, lying there in a hotel room with his junk dangling up. You know, and it's like, uh, good God, they've gone there. Um, it's kind of like I guess he, he's taken a lot of that from Californication as well. So there's so that freedom it, of just it might be a little, you know, a little drawback to that as well. Just saying, you know, when it was Hank Moody, this was all the time. This so. is all the time, exactly. So um, yeah, I mean, I, the the guy who was the 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 the, the werewolf monster, the the weird green thing, lizard thing. I was a little bit irritated by him every ever. Because he kind of tried to jump on all the scenes. The Australian guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which, which kind of, to me, it would have been funnier if he was not as over the top right, uh, in okay, his human okay. form. Because um, he kind of just reminded me of of a of a cabaret artist a little bit too much. Right. Okay. A little bit too. Yeah. But other than that, you know, it was a great episode. It was good fun. It was definitely. You start to start as soon as this episode aired. I knew. Hang on. They're they're just they're trying. The different genres of X Files, the different types of X-Files. yeah, because usually you have like twenty episodes yeah. to cover everything. Can have the exactly. odd. You've got six, you've got to stick one in, you know. Exactly, and this is the middle episode. This is number three, so yeah. you, you you don't want to. Yeah, and it's it's kind of by design. This is this is mm. they wouldn't just put anything in there. Yeah, and this it, is, there's a reason for this. Yeah, and I like the little switcheroo that the monster wasn't the monster; it was the man. It was that guy. Yes, was the murderer, not the monster. Exactly, and the, the monster was actually turning into the man. Yeah, rather. and he and that was to him horrible. Yes, to, to, to be a man was horrible. You wanted to be the monster, and that is subversive. Yeah. That is funny, and that's that's why that episode worked. Yeah, I um, loved it. I had to watch it a second time. And the second time I got it, the right, first right. time I was kind of a little bit like, oh, what, "What is this?" <laughs> well, yeah. um, I think I was a little bit incensed, uh, incest, but for incest. Uh, incest. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah i was i was i wasn't quite in it when i watched it the first time yeah yeah so, so i banged my cousin <laughs> <laughs> and that totally brought me around the basic idea for the episode i have about a decade ago 
and I've always been wanting to do it. I loved Aaron's writing. I was happy to hear that he was coming back to do one. I thought the script was great. His twist on the werewolf story. Maybe, maybe it's a foot. It was definitely an animal. Animals don't shoot blood out of their eyeballs. Well, tell that to the horned lizard, which shoots blood out its eyeball, Scully. Mulder, the internet is not good for you. It's got a lot of the great Mulder and Scully interactions. You know, the particular dynamic that we get into where we are Mulder and Scully, but we're playing different versions of ourselves. What if this creature that we've stumbled upon is here to create a whole new paradigm for our understanding of life itself? Maybe science was used to create this unnatural being. Maybe this is some GMO experiment run amok by some military agro big pharma corporation. Yeah, this is how I like my molder. Now I know what a monster is. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> you okay over there, hon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, children. How's the convention going? I yeah. He's playing with slippers. He's, he's got all two those toys his, and he's playing with slippers he plays with slippers and the jingle bell slippers so uh, if you actually sing jingle bells to him he, he loves it still he, no matter what the season he's going to be into jingle bells I'm the same to be honest with you yeah jingle bells jingle all the way oh what a fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh yay jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way Oh, what a fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Yay! Yay! This is the best episode ever! Yay! <laughs> okay, so back to X-Files. Jingle we'll... Files. Jingle Files. <laughs> episode X-Bells. 4. X-Bells. No, don't do that. So any, anything else do you want to say about the... I just uh... really enjoyed it. I thought it was really... I thought it was good fun. It was very, um, very meta. And... Scooby-Doo! It was yeah, sort of, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I think that that would have been fun if they actually had a, you know, they ought to do a Scooby Doo episode. That'd be brilliant. That'd brilliant. be really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was good. So the next one was Home Again, and this is where they go decide to go into a little bit more grit, and yeah. grime, and this the, I I call this the uh, the the dark serial killer splat chiller right okay. episode where uh, you know you, you, we've seen it before it's tombs. The, the death row inmate who goes on a killing spree, that kind of candy man yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. about it. And uh, it, it had a bit of Banksy, um, so it was brought to life through art. It did, yeah. Which was graffiti art, yeah. um, which I think is, is a fascinating. Um, and I, I did enjoy this episode because it kind of put me back into the dark side yeah. of, of X-Files. Did you enjoy it? I did, yeah, I did enjoy it. Is this the one we went on that trip? On the trip, he goes. He does an L, 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 LSD trip, doesn't he? To s- no. Which one was that? That's Babylon. Is that Babylon? Right, yeah, right, right, Babylon. Right, right. Okay. That, this one was pretty much a straightforward. Oh, of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and, and it, the show opened with um, uh, the the uh, the guy from um, Battlestar Galactica, which I was really surprised to oh, see. Right, he okay. was uh, he was he was on he was one of the min- minor characters who you know ends up losing a leg. In, in the series and right, he has to hobble okay. around for about four seasons bless him um, and uh, he was right in the beginning there and then he ends up getting all his limbs torn off which I thought was great I thought yay here we go again <laughs> this, is, this is my kind of episode I mean even though I enjoy the humour I enjoy the darkness yeah, more yeah. It's quite, it was quite graphic as well yeah. wasn't it I'm getting ripped apart and it's actually yeah. genuinely, genuinely, it was quite scary. Yes. You know, the lights go off and then you know there's something there, you don't know what it is and he's hiding. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. Exactly. And that's, that's why I, I, that's why I tune into the X-Files. I want to be kind of put on the edge of my, of my seat. The X-Files through nine series were pretty much always really good. Pretty much, yeah. I yeah, there was the odd episode that you kind of like, well, yeah, okay, but yeah. mostly it was consistently well written, at least, you know. Yeah, and you kind of know when it's going to be that. I mean, I, 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 I enjoy the Lone Gunman episodes because that that's when you kind of feel safe. Mm. It's uh, you feel safe when they appear. Especially, I, I love it when it's an episode where it is really scary, really chilling, and then those three guys appear with their, all their tech equipment and they start goofing off about how cool and geeky they are. Yeah. yeah. Um, they said that you two have experience with these spooky cases. We used to. We used to. Next Monday. Where was the victim found? His head. He's in a trash can here. Not even in the proper recycling bin. It's a conspiracy of terror that's simply brilliant television. It's not alive. It's not dead. Magic. Which is impossible. The X-Files, an all-new episode next Monday on Fox. Uh, so home again, dark, nice and gritty. Um, 
it kind of ended how you expected it though you know they they kind of just move on to the next yeah just you know? move yeah the painter moves out and that's it Go somewhere else. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, that will, you don't have to answer. You everything. don't have to, you know, and they rarely do. I mean, this is kind of a, the, the trope of uh, X Files is that uh, to, to kind of give you that fear at the very end, nothing, you know, you don't want to have tombs locked up. You want them to be looking at those screws and, yeah, going, yeah I'm going to get out. That's yeah, it. absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, the, that was another dark one, but different dark, different from the Ghost in the Machine one. This yeah. Was, this was cause... more of the biological. Um, ghost kind of uh, I don't know more demonic I'd say demonic. yeah definitely yeah and uh, yeah yeah it was something to really get your teeth into yes exactly yeah. exactly the we should have said actually though with um, Home Again yeah that's when Scully's mum dies that was oh that was when she goes because then she yeah. comes back because she uh, just wants to she wants to work yeah. she, she doesn't want to sit around so she wants to and work and there's a few things that were just a little bit straight because yeah. she really had to flex her acting chops yeah. in that episode didn't she Yeah, but the to little thing where her mum really... wants her sort of her son to come yeah. around but they, they never really do much with that and I think that's going to be a, a kind of a, an opening I don't think the writers know what the heck they're doing with that either but they kind of did that because they need to open up the family yeah. they need to she ain't got many, many yeah everyone dies yeah everybody's dying so they thought well let's just bring in a mystery yeah like in a strange who son who she's never wanted to talk to for decades and all of a sudden she wants to see him something. so basically now Dana Scully has something to fixate on mm. that's what they were doing they just wanted to, to kind of plant that seed give her a fixation you know uh, her son's going to feature in episodes in the future yeah her, her brother yeah, yeah. Secret brother. Um, and that's that's okay. I, I can see why they did that. And now, let's call a friend. Wow, well, that's good. <laughs> let's call a friend. Let's call a friend. That's uh, See, it's, it's Disney. That's Tigger. Well, we are at a Disney convention, convention. after exactly, all. So, exactly, exactly. You know. We have safety by numbers, you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel safe. <laughs> so, yeah, so we, we, we don't... We, we, I can't remember what she said. No, I can't remember what she said, but I remember... Jilly Scully was uh, very, very... Why did she say that, Mulder? Why did she say that? And then it's like, i just got to get back to work. I'm coming back with you. I've got to get to work. Yes, and she gets really insistent. She Yeah, yeah. there's that really weird bit where she's over her mum and then the phone goes and she picks it up and she's like, hi, Mulder. And he's like, I'm here. And he's still behind her. I'm like, why did you ring her on? Oh, yeah. yeah, I just turned around. He just stood there at the door, staring. I was like, "Fuck him, mate! You don't have to be all dramatic." But they they did it um, quite nicely. What they did was uh, they had Scully watching somebody else die in another room. Yeah, yeah. and they made a, a moment of her watching this person being covered, and then put onto a gurney and taken yeah, away. Just took, but she kind of thought, "That's not going to happen to my mom. That's not going to happen to my mother. That's not going to happen to my mother." Yeah. So as soon as she dies, and they start to come in to do that, she gets she goes off the rails she, yeah, she yeah. yells dude you're not doing that so that was really good yeah, yeah i thought that, that was... was that you, you were with her on that and you felt the same way you thought no i'm not gonna like that because i felt bad when i saw that happen before yeah yeah absolutely yeah, so, that's really good. so they really yeah, yeah. threw that in nicely and uh yeah so that, there was more to that episode than we thought yeah there you go. yeah yeah look at that i forgot about that so babylon are, are we are we okay with this episode? That's because it's about um, it's about terrorism, yeah, and it's about um, terrorism on the uh, soil of the U.S. To- of, on U.S. soil, yeah. Um, it's it's painting. Okay, let's just let's just say what that what what it is that they're actually telling okay, us. Okay, go on then. Episode. Okay, they're saying that they're basically you, you're expecting the people in the beginning of the episode not to be terrorists, but they end up being terrorists, and so it's kind of like you you. you they're kind of subverting your expectations mm. by making you think this isn't what I think it is. But then they're, they're basically telling you in the episode that no matter what, you knew you thought this was going to happen. So, you know, it's it's hard to kind of get away from that feeling. Right. That what this episode is trying to kind of tell you, that no matter what, when you see Muslims out and about, there is a fear gate about what they're going to do and they but they ended up just doing that anyway mm. and there's a kind of a weird feeling about that that yeah. that they're kind of trying to play with your mind to put that into your head and then just doing it anyway 
I, w- I wanted them to kind of not do that and they have just not be. It's one of those difficult moralistic episodes where you're thinking, are they telling you what you want to tell you? Are they, uh, what you want to yeah, say? Yeah, is it a kind of shame on you for thinking that? Shame on you for thinking that. And We're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't um, know, actually. It's a weird thing. I kind of felt, I, I felt awkward because I don't think that. But I kind of felt as though this is X-Files, what's going to go on here? But they, like I say, so that's the first part. They also showed Texas uh, Texans as being kind Very, of yeah hicks, yeah, basically drunken hicks in in cars with you know just drink my drinking. beer. I got my girl oh. in my wagon, and I got friends in Texas who were kind of very verbal about that on Facebook. How annoyed they were about that portrayal. Oh, really? Um, which I can understand. It's, so you know, it's, it's kind of an extent. episode of stereotypes. Then it's an it's an episode of stereotypes, but then full yeah, shaming you into thinking that that's exactly what you know what you were thinking in the first place. Yeah. There, there's that. So and then you've got um these news anchors going at each other about terrorism about uh, what's right what's wrong and mm. uh, so they're kind of blowing blowing the lid off that but in this case they've got a, a black american who is being racist against muslims mm. and then they've got the white american who is standing up for Muslim rights and saying yeah. that that's not true. They're not all terrorists, yeah, which yeah. is kind of an odd kind of reversal because you kind of expect that the the black American would be more tolerant of of race, especially mm. considering the situation in America. So this is an extremely, extremely deep philosophical, uh, political episode if you mm. look at it in that way. Yeah, but then you start to think. Where's the X-File in this? Yeah. I'm Special Agent Miller. This is Special Agent Einstein. I'm a medical doctor. And you're obsessed with the paranormal? That's why we're here. Oh. There's only one episode left till the X-Files season finale. One of the bombers survived. He's dead, except for a heartbeat. I'm proposing that I can communicate with the terrorists. I pity that poor Agent Scully. It's like my dream assignment. You are suggesting I were to go through with this lunatic scheme. What is a lunatic about? Oh, exactly. about that? Everything? So that's a maybe? The X Files, all new next Monday on Fox. Well, the only X File in this is Mulder having a trip to to basically try and get a, a confession out of a dying uh, slash dead yeah. terrorist. That's the only thing. Which is um, it doesn't because the the episode's so heavy and dramatic. It does yeah. sort of come out of it a little bit when he takes a trip because it just ends up being like a weird comedy bit in the middle of this really. Yeah. Which kind of, it felt felt like there were two different pieces that didn't fit. Yeah. It was an odd episode. Did you, did you, did you agree? I, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, the thing I least liked about the new X-Files is Miller and Einstein, these new FBI agents. Yeah, the names. It was just carbon copies of, the, well, the yeah. names I don't like. Einstein, names are stupid. come on. Get out of here. Um, but, yeah. I mean, and the, you know, she's. She's got, Scully. Yeah, she's Scully. And he's Mulder. Mulder. Which we've seen before. Yeah, we've seen done that it before. before. What would have been better if in what and is what they did in later episodes of the X Files, if they were like sort of like fan fans of them. They got into the X Files because they love Mulder and Scully. Yes. And the fans and are in awe of them. That would have been better. Yeah. Than them just being just younger Mulder and Scully. It'd be funny if that's right actually trying pretending to be FBI agents. Yeah, and in, that epi- in that episode at the end, they kind of realised those people were not FBI agents; they were just fans. Mm. But then Which, they end up going to them the next episode because their, yeah. their knowledge is actually quite extensive, and they need them. Yeah. Which just leads me to believe that like Chris Carter had a brilliant idea. He's not the best writer, no, or director, and he X Files work best if maybe he has an idea, and then he lets other people write it. It's that George Lucas thing. Yeah, it is. It exactly is. It's the control thing and not... Yeah, I, I agree with that. And th- those, There was a lot going on in Babylon. Yeah. A lot going on in Babylon. And um, it was all memorable. Because yeah, it absolutely. Was, because yeah. they, they stuck out like glass shards mm. out of your screen. And you weren't... I wasn't very welcoming of that episode. I didn't feel comfortable and I, I was i actually waited the next day because i thought this is going to be controversial i can't wait to, to go on twitter to go on uh, whatever social media to see what people are saying and that's why all oh, right and know, what were people saying because i didn't do that well there was a lot of uh you know uh, the anti-establishment saying that uh oh there we go 
um, Chris Carter is showing uh, Muslims as terrorists and only doing and only showing yeah, them yeah, as yeah. terrorists, which I don't think was the the inte- was the I don't know what the point was there, but you know the, the mother certainly wasn't a terrorist. She was very uh, up, upset about her son's um, yeah, um, and erratic. you know, and there are terror. Well, there are terrorists. Uh, yeah, and it's not saying that everyone who follows Islam. Is like that. It's exactly. just saying that some extremists who follow Islam are, are would may commit an atrocity yeah. like that. Yeah, but not. not it's a that, fact. <laughs> but the, the the difficult thing is for me. I think it's kind of irresponsible at this at this time and in this climate to to just go out and put this out here because I know for a fact when I looked at all these Twitter feeds about oh yeah it's true told you. So they're all terrorists. You know, people were <sighs> people were for and against because they were looking at it literally. Yeah. They were looking at it literally, and I was sitting there thinking, what is the, what is the purpose of this episode? Because there's a lot of dumb people out there that are just going to be all fired up and say, "Yeah, I knew it." No, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's, it's a little it's bit. It's a misstep, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Because, like you're saying, people are arrive or extreme right, extreme left can have extreme points of view on this episode. But they're not There's smart, no they're black not and smart white. enough. There to... is, it's just black and white. Yeah. There's no color. They can't see any color in it. Yeah. And shame on you, Chris Carter. You shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I like that. Yeah. That's that's kind of how I feel. I feel as though that there, there's a, certainly a responsibility to the the millions of people who watch a show as to what you put out there, what mm. you portray, especially in the, in this climate. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's a little bit insensitive and and intolerant. What uh, hurts the most. Is I reckon Donald Trump would have watched it and enjoyed it. He would have watched it and said, "I told you, this is yeah. good, this is good. I'm going to have this you, on my yeah. big, big jumbo t- trumbo tron behind me all day, yeah. every day, because this is going to remind me about how I feel." Yeah, exactly. And if that, this is an example, folks, of of what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that's you, not you, the point. No, absolutely not. And I don't think that was the point he intended, yeah. but because. I don't think he's possibly the greatest he's writer. Not good at making any other point. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the point he was trying to make, he just doesn't have the talent to do it. Maybe. Yeah. If there was a point he was trying to make. Exactly, because all I've got is well, either he's just a big Donald Trump fan, and this is basically his political upheaval, or he's actually saying something that nobody's actually getting because it's it's. It's it's maybe the audience is the X file of this episode. Mm. Maybe we're the ones that are being uh, manipulated in that kind of unusual way. Didn't you tweet me something that someone has something to do with the X Files was a supporter of Trump? Something to do with the X Files was a supporter. Someone of Trump. who was working on the X Files gave some money to Trump. Um, or maybe it's something different. I'm completely. Oh, no, no, it was Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, that was it, Marvel. Okay. Yeah, the uh, one of the chief, ex- uh, the CEOs um, gave millions to Donald Trump, even though he claimed Donald Trump claims that 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 his uh, campaign is purely funded by himself. He doesn't take any money from anybody else, and yet there's a big donation, big fat donation oh. of your money. Did you hear Trump yeah, yesterday? Oh God! Because he got a forty percent approval rating in wherever it was. And he gives this speech, he goes, we're going to keep Guantanamo Bay open. That's where we're sending the bad dudes. And the crowd's like, yeah. And he goes, and we're going to get Mexico to build that wall with a big door. And we'll only let the legal ones through. And everyone's like, yeah. They, yeah. And I was like, oh. The thing is, it's there's something about what what's happening in America that I don't like. Um, is the fact that so many people are are like this episode. If you look at Donald Trump and this episode Babylon... Even if he was being ironic, even if he was being humorous or just trying to basically not not being serious, even if he was actually just, you know, saying things for the sake of saying them, uh, people will just take it literally. Yeah. If one Down thing history has taught us, though, people don't follow what they think is necessarily right. They follow the person who can shout the loudest. There you go. You know. That's, that's your what not point. Five percent of this episode—that's pretty strong. Oh, thank you. Let's move on before I ruin it. Yeah, but ba- I mean, Babylon. I, I, a part of me was worried because I thought you would have kind of said this is an excellent episode. I totally get what he was doing. I was, I was, I was thinking, I am, am I the dumb one who no, doesn't no, no, get no. it? No, because I, I had the same, same yeah. uh, doubts as I, you did. I felt very irritated when I yeah. after I watched it because I thought this is episode five, damn it, of a six-part series. Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? Yeah, exactly. And then I was really afraid that uh, episode six was going to be 
and yeah, and the trip when he does yeah, the trip. That, that was my favorite part of the episode because it was just a bit of fun. It was funny, and I got to yeah, see some of the lone but gunmen I again. Didn't enjoy it. No, I didn't. I but didn't that enjoy was... the trip because I kind of felt as I, I just kind of felt as though it was in the wrong episode. Oh, it definitely give, was. Give but that was my favorite trip. part yeah, of the episode. It was still a favorite part of the episode. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's what they were doing. They wanted you to have that as your favorite part of the episode. Yeah. Because everything else was just what. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there we go. We'll leave Babylon alone. Babylon, that's where he went when he took the trip. That's where he went to, yeah, yeah. When he had some acid, or yes. mushrooms, or whatever he had. Yeah, mushrooms, it was shrooms. It was shrooms. It's weird, um, I don't know. Anyway. Given to him by Einstein. <laughs> which, Einstein, which, who's, a, who's a doctor. Who's a doctor. You should know better. Yeah. And doesn't really know him. Yeah. But the monk again you want the truth, Agent Mulder? You've come to the right place. Uh, oh god anyway thank god did, did, we did, had my struggle part two <laughs> my struggle part two okay and now again this was rushed yeah this episode was rushed well they they, they gave the scully spiel first because yeah. naturally because we're 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 bookending this yeah absolutely small yeah. season okay so okay. what happened well what happened is oh hell broke loose <laughs> You sent for me. I'm here. Well, what was interesting when Chris reconceived this miniseries here, he kind of twisted the old story, which was that there was this small cabal of humans, amongst whom was the cigarette smoking man, who was in league with these aliens that were going to come back at some point and colonize the Earth. This time around is somewhat different. This conspiracy is... Conspiracy of men. You have no idea how well we plan. The same cabal of men have taken alien technology and are going to use it themselves to enslave the rest of humanity. They won't know what hit them. In the end of the event series, in the last episode, everything leads up to this really amazing <laughs> climax. We are in deep trouble. It's too late for your heroics or mine. I don't believe you. You don't want to believe we're all going to be exposed. It's a universal event. We are getting our first reports of deaths. We right. could die a real right. quick death. Actually, we're next in line. Um, again, I forgot to mention it with the first episode. The guy who's the truth sayer. Yeah. He's got that online thing where he talks about chemtrails and all that. Yep, and yep. Not sure about him, but he was okay. Yeah. Um, Everybody. A lot his, of the actors yeah. that he got in this, like him, who's a massive X Files fan and just wants to be in X Files, and you can see it. He's sort of like fanboy in it while he's in there. You know what I mean? But yeah, what happens in this is the thing that was the thread throughout all the X Files was uh, when we all had our shots, TV shots. Was it? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Or inoculations. Whatever inoculations. It is, yeah. There was um, there was something put into it. That made us susceptible when the powers that be, the elite, want to depopulize the planet. Yeah. Means we'll start to get like diphtheria and typhoid and all these it's archaic just, diseases a... that we don't we that we don't get. It basically can just unleash it and we yeah. get it all. Anthrax, things like that. And that um, was it. It was a big harbour of, of all things evil. Yeah. And, and it's in us all, and it's in the alien DNA. It's in, yeah. When the, yeah. the alien DNA is what stops it. The elite's got oh, the alien DNA, so, like, the, Scully's got the DNA, so she doesn't get sick, does she? But it basically just starts, doesn't it? Everyone starts getting ill and... Panicking, Panicking yeah. and... Um, Which is a big change for Exiles. I mean, Exiles is supposed to be... Uh, kind of like everything's hush hushed. If nobody knows what's going on, well, no one and does know what's going on there, though, do they? It's only because still, uh, it, it's still, it's still the, the the people just carried on with their normal lives in any other X Files. Everybody just got on with their normal lives. Well, it, this it was always become... building to this point. That's what Maybe the X Files was. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, it was always, and it felt like it would never go. What what's happening? Are we are they going to change, turn us into aliens? What what the hell? I don't get that's what's it. happening. You're right. And there is a lot of conspiracy theories about the elite wanting to depopulize the planet. Yeah. So, because they say we can't sustain this amount of people on a <coughs> planet. Donald Trump. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. But if um, they can somehow depopulize this planet for the elite to just enjoy the, that's what a lot of conspiracy theorists think is, is what's trying, what they're trying to do. 
Yeah. And they use some of the theories in this, like chemtrails, you know, the pl planes going across, which is proven. There was um, there was some planes that were going over a town and um, they were releasing this sort of gas uh -huh. that calmed the town down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were, they were actually, and the government were, try were doing this. Do you know what? I'm, I'm totally, I totally believe in this kind of thing. I do. Um, I do. Because do you ever get those weeks where you feel sleepy for some reason? Yeah, absolutely. And, then, and you you speak to so many people and say, yeah, it's just one of those weeks. It must, must be the weather. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. The weather. It's in, no, I said, maybe it's just in the air, guys. Maybe we're just yeah. actually all been Well, it was a funny thing. Toned down. I had a week where me and Tash were falling out all the time, every night, just angry. And, and then we spoke to one of our neighbours, and they've been falling out all week. Yeah, and we spoke to Jane, and Jane's very sort of um, exactly. new age, very kind of hippie like, and she Let was like, go. "Oh, it's the moon." We're like what? <laughs> he said, "Well, the moon's been on very big and high for a few nights, and that's steady on." Is he all right? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Look at River saying, "Aspen did it, weren't we?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as he's alive, that's all that matters. Love you guys. <laughs> So yeah, and the sun moon was in the sky, and that was affecting everybody's mood in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so this maybe happens, whatever you know. There's reasons by it, but yeah. um, whatever the the ongoing threads throughout X Files, I think, has led to this. Yeah, and it's starting, and we know now that Scully mapped a genome, didn't she? And there's something in her genome that can cure this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and anyone who's basically got this can save everybody but Mulder and Scully are never together in this episode it was only at the very end where she man manages yeah, to meet up with right. them on the you're bridge you're right yeah, that was the first time they actually got back in yeah because he was uh, he was missing yeah and she was trying to find out where he was but he was going the... to cigarette smoking man yeah which kind of mirrors that episode there was an episode in season 7 which I had just watched where where, where was Sigourney Weaver <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. No, yeah. uh, hang on. Um, yeah, where Scully disappears off with the cigarette smoking man on a mission mm. and to pick up a disc from this guy, and they go on the road together, and she and Mulder doesn't know where she is. So it's funny how the cigarette smoking man, how he factors into this, and how little parts of him have been threaded through the whole genome of the series about his involvement. Um, because at the end of that episode, and this is how I am trying to link this to this yeah. this moment, he has the disc that 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 she managed to retrieve from the guy before he got shot, and all he does is throw it into the lake at the very end. He gets rid of it, get rid yeah. of it. So yeah. uh, it's hard to tell if he's actually trying to protect or uh, protect the elite. I mean, uh, is Mulder the elite? Does he have the DNA? No. Scully does. Scully does, and so yeah. in that episode, he was trying to protect Scully and keep take Scully and keep well, her on the way. Yeah, there's a certain part of it where you, he's obviously evil, and he works for the elite, and he yeah. wants his depot, but he wants Mulder and Scully in it with he him. Yeah, he does. I don't think he wants to let them go. Hmm. He doesn't want to let them. He wants to keep them in, the, you know, as close to possible and keeping them, feeding them with all this information as as, as the story goes along. It doesn't. It doesn't dismiss the idea that every so often he thinks, oh, just get him killed, kill him off. Mm. Which I think is just him fighting with his own demons and yeah. uh, or from orders above. Well, we Make don't it... know if the cigarette smoker man is possibly Mulder's dad. That's always a question, and I think that's always been threaded ever since the mother was seen, uh, yeah. seeing him, meeting up with him, mm. and the dad was was merely just a you know just a screen. Yeah. Uh, screen dad screen dad yeah or the cigarette yeah. smoking man might have been the dad to samantha his sister and that's why she was taken just please let it not be that the cigarette smoking man is the dad to both Mulder and scully because that could just get very luke and Leia. oh and they've just had a kid together they just Ugh. had a kid together so that could be the yeah uh, yeah um, well you did bring incest up earlier that, I, I was I was going for incessant, 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 and incessant I kind of, incest. Yeah, and, and sometimes <laughs> it just gets in the way. Oh, God. Damn those cousins! <laughs> but, but one thing I do want to talk about, which is something I've never seen in X Files, that Bourne inspired fight scene. Yeah, Bourne fights because we've never actually seen him get that physical. No, this season. No, so this never. is this is unusual. Yeah, territory. it was just proper. Had the really good crab maga fight in it. Yeah, which 
which is bound to happen eventually. You know, I suppose kind of, so, yeah. You know, it's taken a long time for him to actually have a fight with anybody. He's never even taken a swing, has he, really? I mean, he's struggled in self-defense, but he's never actually gone out swinging. <laughs> never like that. You know, he's yeah. never really come across as this really good fighter in any expert. Then all of a sudden, he's this expert. Maybe he's been practicing. That's what he's been doing for the past few years. Maybe he's done that Batman Begins thing, and he's been to go and see uh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, who, who was yeah. obviously, you know, into that kind of thing now. Yeah, well, that's all Liam Neeson does, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to kill you with my thumb, you know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> that, so big big fight, and then he gets take. Does he get taken? No, no, he, um, he willingly drives. That's he, he finds out where the smoking man lives off that's that it, guy. Off that guy. Yeah, and then he goes to see him and puts a gun in his face, but then starts to get ill. Yeah, that's but, it. Because this thing's yeah. been unleashed now, and everyone's starting to get ill. But he won't take the smoking man's help. Yeah. Where at this time, Scully and Einstein are trying to figure out how to save people. And Miller is trying to find Mulder. Yeah. And that news anchor guy who's pretty ill himself is still trying to stay online and talk to people as long as he can about yeah. what's happening. Yeah, so it, it, it's... It's all happening. It's all happening, and I think that um, there's no way they're not going to have an, another season. Do you think it's going to be another six episode Look at that mess. God. I don't know, but it's uh, they're going to have to carry on. They're going to have to carry on. Because it ends with Scully's, <clears throat> Scully's finally got to Mulder. Mulder's, they found out that Mulder needs something. He's too far gone, and they need something off his child to help him. So, so they're going to go and find the child. So they're going to go and find the child, because he's pretty much half dead. Yeah. And um, then all of a sudden... And Haley, a spaceship comes out of the sky, shines light on them. Scully's looking up. The whole bridge sees it. This the is whole not, bridge sees it, yeah. It's not just them anymore. No, it's everyone's seen this spaceship. Exactly. And it ends. It, it's, it's that crazy. It's gone, it's gone that crazy now. And, and it's, the doors are open. So, yeah, I, I can't imagine it's going to be a six-episode uh, season 11. I think well, this is, like I say, a pilot for the new generations to figure yeah. out what the Nielsen re ratings were going to be. Because the problem has done really well in America. Yeah, it has done really well, um, especially episode five, because Trump is winning in the polls. <laughs> um, okay. And I think that... Yeah, I know. Um, and that was it. They needed to test the water. They knew they couldn't bring out 24 episodes straight away, because they, if, if they failed, then it would have been a horrific yeah. ending. And I don't the think they can... They can't do though. another 20 episodes because I don't think... It'll be 13. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. It's going to be more than six, though. 24. Because if they're going to carry on doing some standalone episodes, it's going to take two episodes to remedy whatever's just happened. Yeah, yeah, that's going it, to... It's going to take one, maybe even three episodes, and then they can slip back into doing a few standalone episodes, or yeah. unless they're going to try and link this into a film. Anything is possible. Yeah. Anything is possible. But I, I can't imagine it's going to be that long before we actually see the next season. I don't think mm. it'll be September. I think it'll be January again. But uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. If they do do it, it's going to be yeah. next year. But they've got to... I, I feel as though that they need to be with us a little bit longer than six episodes. Just yeah. So that we can really get our teeth into it ourselves. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, normally in a normal 24-episode season, you get those bad episodes that you don't like and you dismiss it because you really, really enjoy all the big ones. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. So Babylon kind of stands out, doesn't it, because you only got those six episodes. It, and... Yeah, I feel as though there were only five episodes that were true X-Files. Yeah. X-Files. Five just didn't have any any X-File other than a trip, a mushroom trip. Which isn't really an X-File, because that... and... people do that. Yeah. The only X file is is that were we were we being fooled and shamed? It, was there something coming out of the TV? Were, did, did it break the fourth wall in that way that that the audience felt more than the actual storyline? There's more storyline outside of the episode with us, yeah, maybe than there is actually in there. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it's, it's weird. It's such a that episode is too current and not done well enough. Yeah. If it had been done really well, it could have really said a lot about today's society and misperceptions of religious people and whatnot, but it doesn't. Yeah. And we're still talking about Babylon. Isn't it strange? It's the one we talked about most. It's the one we like the least. Yeah, but that's the thing. That, that's, the, that's, that's, how, uh, that's how humans are, isn't it? Whatever yeah. we dislike, we kind of pick out the most. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, still, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still getting through. I'm definitely on board. 
I'm on board. And they have to do more. Now yeah. they've left it on such a cliffhanger. If they weren't planning on doing any more, they've re- what, did, what have they done? What have they done? <laughs> you can't leave it like that. How can you end imagine it? They, yeah. Imagine they never make another X-File now, and the last scene you ever see of an X-File is a spaceship coming down, a light shining on the car with Scully and Mulder in it, and that's it. That's it. You just don't, they don't answer anything. What? And you know what will happen then, because everybody's into making their own, doing their own thing now. I mean, Star Trek, it, it, they say that a new Star Trek series is going to come in the next few years, but there's so many fan fiction versions yeah. of that now. Um, on on YouTube, you can find it anywhere now that they're, they're doing they're doing it for themselves. If if they don't get the finger out soon, then they're going to be fan people doing their own X Files episodes. It won't be long. Sorry. No, you're all right. You're fanboy at this convention, aren't you? you yeah, I'm taking all the snaps. Taking all the snaps, enjoying the. Who did you see? Shrooms, shrooms. Shroom, yeah, yeah, I've had a massive shroom trip. <laughs> they get them on the door at this Disney convention. It's like. Uh, it's a small world after all. There's no reality. Can you imagine doing shrooms and going to a Disney convention? My God. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should do that for Comic Con this year. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do oh. it. Oh, no, shrooms are, shrooms are not good to do that. You, you would be freaking out. You would, we'd be taken out oh, in God. moments. Have you ever uh, seen Knocked Up? Uh, the film Knocked Up. No, I haven't. It's a, it's a funny film. It's all right. But do you do shrooms and go to Circus Ole? <laughs> And he start really freaking out, and then he ends up going back to the That's apartment, and the apartment's vibes aren't right, and he has to put all the ch- all the chairs in a certain way and sit on certain chairs just to feel okay. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's quite funny. Wow, yeah, Germs. yeah. But anyway, X Files definitely on board. <laughs> definitely on board. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Apart from Babylon, and um, I'm eager to see where they take it. Exactly. So here we go. I mean. Um... We, we've just uh, we're going to end this episode right by telling you exactly where to find our stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we never do that. <laughs> FBF Pod. That's um, frame by frame. FBF Pod. Dot roastedportions. Dot com for the website. You can go to um, SoundCloud at frame, frame by, by frame, frame seventy-eight. 8. Yeah. Yeah, you can find all our stuff on there. Um, but you, you might as well just go straight to the website and click on any of those icons yeah. for SoundCloud. Run iTunes, frame run by frame. I, iTunes, yeah. We, we're right there next to episodes of Mark Maron and... Uh, yeah, right Dave up there. Hill. Right up there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, 250,000 listeners a day. <laughs> Listening to that show, not us. Yeah. No, that, that's 200,000 people not listening to us. Yeah. That, the figures are, are correct, but they're just inverted. Um, <laughs> but we're still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still the little voice in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, yeah, we're, 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 the, um, we're the ant flying in, in the tornado. Yeah, um, the, um, the ducks swimming against the current. Yeah, a big, big fat current. Yeah, the, um, boop, the, boop, the leaf boop, boop. In, in the wind. Yeah, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. We will. We will. Yes, we will. we'll just make sure that everybody's listening. Um, it was actually and and you guys, if you are listening, this is what we'd like you to do. Yeah, put email seven frame by frame seventy eight at gmail dot com. That's it. And uh, just let us know Twitter, what you think. frame by frame seventy eight. Yeah, go on the website and just comment. Comment away. Go on Facebook yeah. and do something on Facebook because. Nobody does anything on Facebook anymore. Everybody's uh, we get our we get our yah yahs from Twitter at the moment. Yeah, Twitter, nice. Yeah, nice support there. Thank yeah. you very much, everybody on Twitter. Well, yeah, please uh, get in touch and let Screw us know. Screw you, it... Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> but let us know uh, if there's anything you'd like us to discuss, and we'll discuss it. We'll have a talk about it. Yeah, you know, it's been so good. This has actually been quite an enjoyable episode, and I'm just letting you know now that I'm just we're doing the revisits of the early episodes. Mm. And I was just listening to the Birdemic one. Right. It was hilarious. Was it? Because um, we both don't want to talk about Birdemic, so we leave the room. And then there's a, a phone call come in and a message. And uh, do you know what? It's the funniest thing. And I, I didn't even know we did this. Right. But there's on. like an answer, answering machine, machine message from this woman who's asking us if we still wear our brassiers. And it's like, where did it, I don't even remember editing this. I don't remember doing I that. I don't remember doing that. So... Dude, I'm I'm gonna I'm doing the uh, the the tab for the uh, the episode now just so we can showcase it. I'll get you the the time code for that. Yeah, do and, yeah. and so you can listen to because it, it's just 
I just, I just can't believe I did it. I was in absolute hysterics <laughs> listening to that. I thought, oh my gosh. We, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to do more of that. I think we should do, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like, if there's anyone still listening now to this waffle, we, you might go back. What was the episode where we got abducted by the Spice Girls? Uh, we got abducted on the X-Files episode. This is yeah, why that it's was it, Yeah, in. that's it. The, the end of the X-Files episode. We got abducted because we, <laughs> we kept slagging off the Spice Girls. So the Spice Girls abducted us and we had to do a podcast from like a dingy dungeon didn't we with no lights on yeah because we, we reviewed seven because we thought it was appropriate to, yeah. to review the, the but then at the end of that yeah. episode we managed to find a light didn't we and it turns out the dead carcasses of the backstreet boys were around <laughs> us so what we did is we we stripped the skin off the pieces of the backstreet boys and wore it on our own faces it's to so scare the to spice girls and the in the in the fright, we managed to escape. We want you all to listen to uh, episode uh, 12, 13, and 14. Uh, finish with Interstellar, because we th- I think that's the, probably one of our... Well, it's one of my favourite um, edited right. episodes, because we, 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 just got, we just escaped. And you can tell that we're just actually just lying there, relaxing, chilling out, yeah. um, watching uh, Interstellar, or talking about Interstellar. But that, that seven episode... Episode 13 was the most insane thing we ever did on radio, and I think it's probably the most insane thing we've ever done as a, as a collaboration. Yet. Yet. So, there may be more. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. See you next time. See you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bag it up. The trust, the truth, the trust rod is out there. <laughs> what? The truth is out there. And the trust rod is vibrating. Yeah. The trust rod is a bit of rod that goes down the neck of guitar. It keeps it strong. Is it? Yeah, yeah. and you can okay. put, you can make it more tense or less tense, and it brings it back and forward, so you get nice action on your guitar. But trust no one, apart from us. Yeah, we're 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 good. Yeah, we're okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>